Modwood is a wood composite decking and screening product that delivers an environmentally sustainable, low maintenance and attractive outdoor living solution and is designed not to split, rot or warp. Modwood is designed and manufactured in Australia. For best results and to ensure your warranty remains valid, please follow these simple installation instructions, paying close attention to board spacing and fastener installation. If you have any queries regarding your installation, please contact the Modwood office directly. Prior to installation of the deck, relevant approvals from council and other regulatory bodies must be obtained. Modwood is a non-structural member and can't be used as a joist or beam. Modwood should be stored on edge in a dry flat area under roof and supported every 1400 millimetres with a minimum ground clearance of 90 millimetres. Failure to keep boards dry in storage may lead to the growth of mould spores and may also lead to slight swelling of the boards. Modwood decking is heavier and more flexible than timber. When moving product around it should be carried on its edge. Take care and don't lift or carry more decking than you can safely handle at one time. Good ventilation for your decks is essential. Adequate drainage is also needed to prevent water from pooling under the deck. Minimum ground clearance is 300 millimetres. Don't seal off deck ends as this prevents airflow. Modwood must never be installed directly onto any solid surface like concrete or paving. The maximum recommended centre to centre joist spans for residential installations are as listed. For solid decking, 450mm, wide decking, 450mm and marina board, 600mm. Remember the joist span is measured from centre to centre of the joist. The maximum of the decking board can be cantilevered, that's the overhang on the end of the board, for the 88mm board 45 millimetres and for the 137, 70 millimetres. For commercial installations, our 137 by 23 or 32 millimetre boards are recommended. To meet the engineering specifications of the deck, joist centres may need to be adjusted inwards. Contact Modwood directly for advice on joist spans where high concentrated loads are specified. To ensure the installation runs smoothly and efficiently, be sure you've ordered correct quantities and materials prior to the installation of the deck. There's a simplified decking calculator on our website which calculates the required quantity of decking boards and fasteners. Modwood can be fastened by screws, nails or concealed fixing systems. Please note that a fixing instruction sheet is supplied with each pack. Be sure to contact Modwood or check out our website if you lose your copy. When cutting Modwood, use standard power saws and drills. When drilling, to avoid clogging, remove shavings by raising the drill bit out of the hole. Suitable clothing, dust mask and safety glasses should always be worn of course. When nailing, you must pre-drill the pilot hole with a drill bit large enough to provide a slight clearance on the hole then fix with a dome head galvanised nail. Don't punch the nail heads under the board surface. We recommend in high corrosion areas the use of stainless steel decking nails. Nails should be located no closer than 20 millimetres to the edge of the board. A zigzag fixing pattern can be used for 88 millimetre board but it's not suitable for the 137 board. You must have two nails at the end of each board and the nail no closer than 15 millimetres from the end of the board. Pre-drilling and countersinking is essential when fixing with screws. Drill bits should be slightly greater than the thread diameter of the screw. Don't skew fasten or overdrive screws, particularly near the ends of the boards. Screws should finish flush with the top of the board. Don't fix closer than 15 millimetres from the end of the board and the screw should be located no closer than 20 millimetres to the edge of the board. Note it may be necessary to laminate a block to the joist where there's butt join to ensure there's sufficient distance and to comply with the minimum distance from the board end. A two-in-one bit that can drill and countersink in one operation 
will save you heaps of time. A nail gun's not our preferred fixing method as results vary greatly. However, should you decide to use a nail gun, you need to satisfy yourself that nail penetration and retention is satisfactory prior to installation. Our preferred nail gun's the Passload Duo Fast KD665A coil nailer. Use dome head stainless steel nails. Dome heads must rest above the board surface and be double fixed on each joist. Do not use nail guns on steel joists or on decking greater than 23 millimetres. Pre-drilling and hand nailing is required within 50 millimetres of the end of the board and the nail must be located 20 millimetres from the edge of the board. Modwood decking will expand and contract slightly with changes in temperature and moisture. When the ambient temperature is greater than 25 degrees Celsius, it's important that the boards are not left lying out in the sun prior to being fastened. Store boards in the shade or under a tarp. Measure and cut boards and install with minimum delay. This minimises the chance of board end gaps increasing once the board has reached equilibrium with normal temperature. To make installation easier and in line with mud wood fixing requirements, spaces have been developed. Every pack of mud wood comes with 10 free spaces. Extra spaces are available by contacting the mud wood distributor in your state. On standard mud wood installations, the minimum gap requirements are 2 mm for end butt gap, 4 mm for side by side gap, and 6 mm for end gap to solid structure and butt joints of boards must be staggered. Modwood recommends using the Clever Clip concealed fixing system. Installation suitable on both timber and steel substructures. Firstly, you need to consider the set out of your deck. Which fascia you're going to use, whether you're going to have an overhang with the front board or whether it'll finish flush with the deck. Full board widths are recommended at the front of your deck. For further detailed information, an installation DVD can be found at www.cleverclip.com.au. When fixing to timber joists, use 8 gauge 30mm galvanised button head or countersunk screws, or 32mm by 3.15 galvanised connector nails or equivalents. For metal joists, use 10 gauge 18mm galvanised wafer head self-drilling screws with a head size less than 2 mm. When fixing stainless steel clips, please use stainless steel equivalents, not galvanised screws. When fixing modwood clips to timber or metal joists, use one screw per board width for the 88 mm clips and for the 137 board, use two screws per board width. Now that the outer side clever clips have been securely fastened to the joists, Run a string chalk line from one of the outer side clever clips across the inner joists on the deck to the other outer side of the clever clip. Using this chalk line, you can then correctly position the remainder of the front clever clips onto the other internal joists. Correctly aligning the first row of the clips is critical to ensure a professional finish. Apply a 10 mm high bead of construction adhesive in the middle of the clip. These are the approved adhesives for use with Clever Clip. Place the complete length of the board's groove into all the claws down one edge of the board. Once engaged, simply walk the deck boards into the Clever Clips or alternatively, gently tap the top of the deck boards with a rubber mallet until the deck boards are locked into the Clever Clips claws. Try and avoid walking on top of the newly laid deck boards until the adhesive is set. Every box of Modwood Clever Clips now comes with a fixing tool. To save your back, get yourself a piece of broomstick. Tap it on and you won't have to bend over. After you've inserted each board, it's good practice to use the fixing tool to tap the upright back to the vertical position. Remember not to overhit the fixing tool. All that's required is just one light tap. It's important that your butt joints are square and line up with the notch in the Clever Clip upright. Otherwise, the deck board end may not engage correctly with the clever clip claw. At the butt joints, it's important that you use the Modwood 2mm spacer that comes with each pack. 
For further detailed fixing instructions, information is available at the website. If you have an existing concrete slab, modwood decking boards may be installed. You'll need a minimum 50mm clearance above the concrete. It's critical that the following points are followed when installing. Battens need to run in the direction of the fall of the concrete. Side-by-side -side spacing needs to be 6mm. Don't box in. All sides and ends should be kept open. Don't use modwood as the batten. And ventilation is critical in this application as clearance is minimal. It's critical when installing mudwood on steel substructures that the joins must always be staggered. Do not create a seam. And don't leave boards sitting in the sun for any length of time before fixing them down. Using clever clip is a great way to fix onto steel as there are no stresses built into the deck with the expansion and contraction of the steel. With conventional fixing, these stresses have been known to cause shearing of screws. But if you do decide to screw the deck down, it's strongly recommended that self-drilling tech screws and not wing tech screws be used. For MIDI board installation, when installing a screen, ensure that the uprights are perpendicular and parallel to each other. This will ensure your job looks great. Maximum continuous span on edge is 800 millimetres. Uprights must be rigid and fixed at the base. Use timber uprights 90 by 90 millimetres or steel at 65 by 65. For a continuous span, a single fastener on each upright will suffice. For single span, two fasteners must be used per upright. It's important that you fasten one board end and then install fasteners at each upright along the board length. Don't fasten the board ends and then install fasteners in the intermediary uprights. And don't forget the standard 2mm end butt spacing. Note the 68mm profile mustn't be used for decking. Flame Shield is a flame retardant decking board. It's suitable for use in bushfire prone areas that have a bushfire attack level from BAL 12.5 up to and including BAL 40. Flame Shield is available in a 137 by 23 mm profile only. Certification of the Flame Shield system allows the subfloor space to be either enclosed or unenclosed. Note, if you enclose, refer to modwood ventilation requirements on our website. The subframe joists and bearers must be constructed from non-combustible materials or one of the bushfire resisting timbers, which, as at December 2011, includes spotted gum, river red gum, black butt, silver top ash, red ironbark, merbau and turpentine. Note flame shield boards must not overhang or be cantilevered past the joist at any point. Flame shield has an inkjet message repeatedly along the edge of the board. This message should be cited on each board prior to installation. With this construction system, flame shield's been certified to comply with construction for bushfire attack levels up to BAL 40. Note flame shield is manufactured with a deep embossed pattern for improved slip resistance and achieves an R11 anti-slip rating. Modwood's relatively maintenance free, however regular cleaning is important to keep your deck looking great. Sweeping and cleaning with normal household cleaners containing sodium hypochlorite is usually adequate. Stubborn stains are usually oil based and mostly can be removed with Intergrain Reviver or SoSafe. If you're not successful then try a water diluted degreaser, but please take care or contact the Modwood office for advice. Water stain marks may appear on the boards. They'll disappear over the course of the weathering process, or should you wish to quickly clean these areas, use Intergrain Reviver or SoSafe. Mould is a lower form of plant life that can settle and grow on any surface. Intergrain Reviver, SoSafe or Wet and Forget have been used successfully to kill mould colonies. Modwood boards are reversible and offer two finishes brushed or smooth. Note the 137mm profiles have a deeper embossed pattern than the 88mm board 
and is manufactured to an R11 slip rating. Each finish has its pros and cons, which is explained in more detail on the website under care and maintenance. Note the brushed face is more forgiving for marking and should be used if the deck is partially covered with a roof. Modwood is pre-coloured during the manufacturing process with extremely light, fast pigments. During the first couple of months with exposure to weather, the initial colour of the product does lighten. The brushed finish face will show minimal colour change. If the deck's under cover, then the brushed face should be used. After this process, it'll maintain its colour over the life of the board. More information is available on our website. Thank you for choosing Modwood. Modwood's designed and manufactured in Australia to meet harsh Australian conditions. Underfoot, Modwood feels firm and strong. This is an important consideration, especially for elevated decks. Modwood's back with a 10-year residential warranty. More information is available at modwood.com.au or call 03 9357 8866. That's 03 9357 8866 or email info at modwood.com.au. Modwood. Ask for it by name.